in my dining room uh, because we've got a lot going on kind of over at the warehouse. We're going to be doing a lot of packaging of your items today. And so don't worry, you will get your stuff shipped out today. Uh, but anyway, we wanted to come live and do a Q&A today uh, simply because we would love to have your guys' feedback when it comes to what your thoughts are on the retail space. Now, fair warning, everybody's been asking me this, it will not change the online store. So hookedonpicking.com actually will probably benefit from this move because we will be able to offer a lot more products. The unboxings will not stop. We will continue to do with the unboxings because our intention is to eventually hire some uh, front of house staff so that they can run the cash register. We can move product that way, but also be running everything like we normally do um, here next to our house at our small little warehouse. Uh, but we will have an entire um, back room. That is, a, what would you say about Paul is here, by the way. Hello, everybody. Um, I would say the back room is about four times the size that we currently have. Yes, right now in we're space. in 700 square feet. So, yeah, yep. I think you're about right. Yep. So, we're going to be definitely be increasing our storage space, increasing our fire sale space. We're getting internet uh, put in there. Um, I know we did a speed test on a live stream there, um, and it was a little bit grainy. And so we uh, did some research, found great internet that literally is going to be double what we even are, what we even have here at the house. And so, um, and at the small hooked on pick and warehouse. And so. Um, what we're planning on doing is um, getting super fast internet, and so we should not have any lag time, blurriness, any issues while we're there, and then eventually we'll move the fire sales down there. Now, for a while, you'll still see us in our small space. We may occasionally do some live streaming from our small space um, while we're in the midst of this transition, and I would say it's going to take us uh, about two months to transition fully because we, in no way, shape, or form, want to shut down hookedonpicking.com in any way. So that will all still 100% be exactly what you're used to seeing. We'll still continue to do unboxings. And that's why the transition is going to just take a little bit longer because we're going to make sure that we don't uh, stop any of our regular yeah, business. Yeah, things, things have been going really well on Hooked on Pickin'. We had, I think we told you guys, what was it, Friday? Yeah. Friday was the highest day in sales that we'd ever had in the history that we've been doing this. And then Saturday. And then Saturday. You decided to destroy yeah, that number. Yeah, destroy that number. So <laughs> it was like, wow, that's good. Yeah. Um, so anyway, things have been going good. Let's see, catch up on some things. Sunshine Badge and More says hello, all. Hello. Uh, Lisa says uh, hi, Heather and Paul. Awesome. Janet Hooks, the famous, my mama, says hi from Mama Hooks. Lynette and Riley says hi, guys. Julie C says Central Queensland, that should have red. Oh, the uh, uh, previous comment. Donna says, hello, I love your family sign. Yeah, our son made that. Oh, yeah. He yeah, made James that. made that in woodworking class. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Don says, hello, Heather and Paul. Uh, Lori says, hi, Heather and Paul. Hope Burke says, hello. Hello, hello. Good deal. So we're looking for suggestions. Uh, we've been thinking about signage. Yes. Uh, the go down there. Uh, we also, the boxes that are sitting there are what, Heather? Um, this is actually going to be part of our um, kind of POS system. If you don't know what a POS, it's point of sale. And it's actually all of our transactions, even at the store, will be run through hookedonpicking.com. Um, but they just basically have a point of sale system for um, a, a permanent retail location. And so the bonuses, because we have hookedonpicking.com, we're not paying any extra for it. I just had to buy the hardware for it. And so I'm going to be unboxing and kind of showing you how professional we're going to be and how awesome that's going to look. Um, but I do have my note cards here and the questions that we're going to ask are, if you walked into a store, now you've seen uh, a lot of you who have watched kind of the tours of the retail space, you've seen the space. There's clearly some, some changes we're going to make just because we're going to be there permanently all the time. Um, and so we're definitely going to change the name to Hooked on Pickin'. I think our happy uh, place for the name thus far 
and let you guys give us a better idea today. Um, so far, we're gonna go with Hooked on Pickin discount merchandise. I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, so we'll, there'll definitely be a lot more Hooked on Pickin signs around the space. We're definitely gonna get vi uh, bright, vibrant colored signs, kind of some light blues in the Hooked on Pickin colors um, and things like that. Um, but we definitely wanna make a sign that will have our return policy on it, kind of behind the checkout counter. Um, and then we'd like to look for um, some hanging signs and then some questions that we have for you guys are if you walked into a store what would be the signage that you would want to see to direct you in the right uh, direction um, there is a restroom and there is a sign on the restroom you know we may put another sign you know in a different part of the store to direct them that way um, but would you want signs hanging from the ceiling would you want specific departments such as home decor now obviously in liquidation we can't have um, It'd be, department's going to be tough, I think, in liquidation. A but, little bit, but I think because we wholesale some things, we can keep a generalized yeah. home decor section and a generalized candy section. And it just kind of like we do with the collections online, we have a um, a pet, you know, we could have a pet section, we have a clothing section, we have a seasonal section, we have, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, we would love to know. If you walked into a store, what's the information that you want to see? Um, and what are some of the things that you always, like if you go into a thrift shop or a mom and pop shop, what are the things you always have to ask questions about that you would prefer to just look up and have the information and, and not have to ask an employee about? Um, and then, um, you know, um, some maybe even some suggestions about the names, things like that. So we're definitely looking for your feedback on that. I will open these in just a moment. Uh Kissy Bow Bowen says hello. Susan Marshall says hello. Hooks. Lisa says congrats on the record sales. Let's roll. Tina says hi, y'all. Awesome. Uh, Marie says hi from the UK. Bobby Joe Shea says hello to the entire Hooks family. Tanya Starr says hello. Got my package already. Have a great day. Nice. Wonderful. Yes. Sunshine Badgemore says uh, candy and toys uh, close together. Laugh out loud. That's good. That's a good suggestion. Write her down. Yeah. I, that, that, I think so. I think uh, I even thought about maybe mixing it a little bit, but uh, at least somewhere close. Uh, and I want to try to put that a little bit more to the front of the store. Um, mm -hmm. As you come in, I want them to be able to see the candy. But anyway, uh, let's see. Lori says, congrats on your new store and sales records. Lisa B says, hi from New York City. Awesome. Sunshine Badge More says, clear signage of different type areas. Be sure that the print is large, but also not too high. Okay. Hope Burke says, I think signs for things would be a, a, a good idea. Sunshine Badger Moore says, and not too wild of colors. I have difficult eyesight. I can see how that could be like clear, large signs are helpful. I think we're going to go probably with a typical blue, kind of light blue shades. Light blue and white are going to be kind of probably our primary colors because that's kind of the hooked on pick and logo colors. So we're going to try to stick to a standard, yeah. you know. Oh, let's see. Diane uh, Schnell says, hi, H Hooks family. My name is Diane. I am one of your big fans. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. Alex Bill says, Heather is a bit blurry. Uh, hey, Paul and Heather. Hey, listen, Alex, remember if you hit, uh, just tap your screen, you should see three little dots pop up to the right and column and if you touch on that then you can change your settings i think it's 720 under, well it's under advanced it's under I advanced think. but and then yeah. change it to 720 and no blurry anymore. yep it should yep. clear up for you i need to set this this way there we go okay let's see here um but da, 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 da. darlene says hi from down river michigan awesome ever been to down river michigan i don't think heather's so. a michigander i'm from grand rapids michigan you've been all over michigan really. i have Sunshine Badge Moore says, yes, candy near the checkout, too. Okay. Okay, Picky Pants. You always have good suggestions. Yes. Just Hooks' discount merchandise, Hooked on Picking too much. Uh, I think we're going to keep Hooked on Picking just because, hey. It's close to my heart. It is close to our heart. <laughs> that way, so. it also gives them the option to tell family members who don't live in the area about the website. Yep, there you go. Angie Resell says, aesthetically, when you come in... Uh, come in, it would look better to have clothing racks and shorter displays rather than old metal tall racks currently there. That is something to think about. Okay. Yeah. You want to write that one down yes. there too? Somehow, we want to make it, I don't know, I, I want to make it kind of inviting. Like somebody wants to go in there and like, ooh, this looks cool. Yeah. You know? We did that in Las Vegas. You know, there were stores we went in there and we're like, 
This is really cool. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Christine says, uh, hello from Cape Breton Island. I don't know where that is. Cape Breton Island. Yeah. Sounds awesome, though. Don says, price prices always on a product. Yes. Yes. Yep. Alex Bell says, gift hooks and more. Gift hooks. Gift hooks. Yes. What does he mean? I think you mean like those pegboard hooks. Yes. Yes. We're we definitely actually those. looking into those. So a lot of the actual metal racking that's currently in there does have pegboard option. We just don't have the little metal hooks. So we'll just have to purchase those, which is not a big deal. Um, so yep. prices on everything, metal, metal hooks. Yep. Rocky Mountain Value says, have seats for the husband to sit while their wives shop. Laugh out loud. That's a great idea. That is. Kind of have like a little corner nook. That is a great idea. Maybe like a coffee pot there or something yeah. like that. Could even have a TV going. That might be something. We could have a TV going and it play. It could play hooked on picking videos. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Let's see, Carol Ricks, uh, room for wheelchairs to navigate. Yeah, it's already uh, greatly accessible. accessible because it's a ramp that comes into the store. And it's pretty wide aisles. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Janet Hooks says section for a section for dad's auction finds in the store. We're definitely doing that. Yeah. So don't know where we'll put it there, but uh, Dad finds some really neat things. I think a lot of those metal trucks that he had found, those vintage trucks, they would sell real well. Yep. Because it gives people an opportunity to actually pick it up, touch it, that kind of thing, you yeah. know? Aline Robinson says, hi, Heather and Paul from Perth, Western Australia. Awesome. Alex Bell says, OMG, you're you're clear now. Thanks, Hooks family. <laughs> yeah. Elaine says, use a space with offers. Use a space with offers. Space I don't know. with offers. Hey, clarify that. What do you mean by that exactly? I'm yep. intrigued. A space with offers. Like they can offer something for something? Like a um, like a negotiate section. That could maybe. be interesting. Darlene says, I'm in Brownstown Township, about 34 miles from Toledo, Ohio. Okay. Yep. You guys then are maybe close to KT Treasures or Avery's all in. Yeah, they're both in Ohio. Yep. Tanya Ferguson says you can Use those front window areas for new, fun, different things that you unbox. Yes. Yes. Yep. Tanya Ferguson, the famous Tanya Ferguson. The famous Tanya Ferguson. She was herding cats at the bowling alley last night. We <laughs> took all of our Awana kids to the bowling alley. It, it was it was a little chaotic at the beginning. <laughs> it was a well, madhouse. We were trying to we're trying to log in preschoolers to the bowling alley, and that doesn't work real well. <laughs> so Tanya is the master at that. Yeah, she, she was doing good. We had what awesome. seventy two kids or seventy two bowlers. Seventy two bowlers. Oh my goodness, yeah. it was nuts. All the way from um, three years old, all the way on up to high schoolers. Yep. We, yep. had, uh, we had two lanes where these little kids were bowling. They couldn't get the ball all the way down the lane. So a couple times, one of our guys had to run down there and like push the ball because it was stuck. <laughs> it was funny. One, one, uh, one ball got down there. It, it didn't quite make it. And another kid bowled. Uh, and pushed the other and ball pushed in. the other ball in. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. Uh, they had fun though. Sunshine Badges and More says uh, Cape Breton Island is in my land, Nova Scotia, home of the Blue Blue Nosera. Don't know. Melinda says hi, Heather and Paul. Hi from El Paso. Love all the stuff I buy from you all. Awesome, great. great. Lisa says, is the checkout still going to be opposite the front doors near that area that jutted out? Near where their merchandise used to be. So um, when you first walk in the front doors, that's where the checkout counter will be. Mainly um, also, too, so that we can greet all customers that come in. Yep. Um, and so that's kind of the plan is to have mm -hmm. the checkout there. Um, but currently right now they have a desk, which is typical like tabletop or desk height. And our plan is um, we are on the hunt for a glass case that is countertop height. And so we would like to put a glass case there that will include um, maybe some of our jewelry pieces and yep. pocket I, knives. I wouldn't mind like selling our knives at the store, but I don't want any, you know, a little kid to grab it and hurt themselves. So we would like, we'll probably do something like you have to be a certain age to buy the knives and things like that. Yeah, so, it would have yeah. to be probably 18 or older right. with parents' permission. But then, you know, that way they're behind the counter and yep. then we don't have to worry about that yeah. as much. I just think it'd be kind of neat. Piggy Pants says, instant 
Instant draw is hard scooped ice cream. You don't have to have a lot, but massive draw to get people in helps with candy sales too. That was actually suggested by someone in the town. Yes. Because they said there is no place for the kids in town to walk to get ice cream. Now, they do have a McDonald's, but it's like way down the it's highway. It's down by the highway near a gas station. And That's no, a little sketchy. It's also not, there's no sidewalks to right. that location. It's really a McDonald's like if you pull off the highway. Yeah. That's, that's what you would stop at, you know. Yeah. So, let's see. Joanne Summers says, uh, what do you think about the word goods instead of merchandise? Mm. Discount goods? Hooked on picking discount, discount goods. goods. Mm. That's not a bad idea. Maybe. Put it down. Put we could it. play with that a little bit. It's not bad. Uh, let's see. Donna Buckley says, I live in Belleville, Illinois. Where is your store going to be located? I would love to come to the store. Okay, so New Baden, Illinois is where it's going to be located, which is just right off 64. Oh, you're very close. You're very, Belleville. very close. Yeah, and she probably knows where New Baden is. Um, if you're not familiar with New Baden, uh, we're basically... Um, Lebanon is about 10 minutes away. You, yeah, you, uh, South of Highland. Hey, uh, let's see who's the name again. Donna, if you just GPS uh, New Baden, Illinois, you're yep. probably within 25 minutes of us. Currently right now, it's called Liquidation Station. And so if you Google Liquidation Station, that's what's going to come up right now if you Google it. Um, but uh, we're doing the transition and we'll do a full name change probably in the next month or so. We got to get all the stuff done officially, Legalese. legally before yep. we can actually call it hooked on picking. So, um, but yeah, we would love to see you. We're actually going to be there starting Friday, um, kind of working with the old uh, owners and then kind of making that transition. So yeah. uh, if you want to see us in a frenzy, come this yeah. weekend. If you <laughs> if you want to yeah. see us in the future, um, I'd say wait about a month and then come visit. Yep. Uh, Tanya says, I think the space with offers might mean like the Target dollar bins near the front. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jerry and Robin, they, they own the store right now. They have already done that, and it is amazing. What they did is they did a $1 bin and a $3 bin, and they just basically took pallets, you know, like a Gaylord pallet, like and you see in some down. box. They cut it down where people could get into it, and they did a really good job. They filled it pretty high, so, you know, you don't have to bend over too far to reach it and get stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, at, uh, and almost every time that we've been there, we see customers, they just dig through it. Yep. And That's it, actually a good idea. So we can kind of have a bin section. I kind of would like to leave that somehow, some way. Yeah. You know, uh, I, don't, I don't think it's a bad deal. And what they do is they do like a color dot. Like I think a yellowed color dot is a dollar and an orange color dot is $3, is three or, or a red something color like dot, that, yeah. something like that. And uh, it just works really well for them. Uh, Don says a place for kids to go and play or read a book. Okay. So maybe that corner with the chairs or I don't whatever. think that's a bad idea. Yeah. I really don't because if you're going to have candy or if you want to have, if you want to make it where moms could come and shop and they don't have to have the pressure of their kids losing their mind, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's Roll Tina says put the website up behind the register wall. It would increase the sales. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Linda... I think that's Portuguese, Linda. I think if you're saying you're in Brazil, I've been to Brazil before. Yep. But uh, thank you for watching the videos. Uh, Elaine says, like a fire sale, sell stock with low price. Yep. Okay. I think we're on the same track yep. with you, Elena. Uh, Kaliki131 says, hi, Heather and Paul. The one thing I have a problem with at stores is clear pricing. Okay. Yeah. I think what we're going to do, because they've already done it, every item you pick up, has a price on it. Like they know exactly what that price is. So yeah. that's what we're gonna try to do also, yeah. of course. Uh, let's see, Lisa says, maybe lower shelving for the height challenge disabled people. Well, all of our shelving is literally like chin height. That's the highest shelf. Um, yeah. There are some that are higher, um, but usually the same product is put on a lower shelf, just like they do at Walmart, where yeah. you have like overstock up on a top shelf and then we can kind of yeah. bring it down. So I think that's going to be pretty good. They've done a really good job of making it pretty well for a uh -huh. wheelchair accessible and people could shop pretty well there, I think. Yeah. Uh, Evelyn says, maybe call the store Hooked on Pickin' Place. Hooked, Hooked on, on Pickin', pickin place. place. I like it. Oh, the only thing that we're trying to avoid is Pickin' can also mean like guitar picking and we don't want people to think it's a music store does that make sense yeah so 
But I like the idea. Yep. Sunshine Badgemore says, Blue Nosers. The Blue Nose is a famous ship that never lost a race in the history of Canada. Oh. Blow winds blow for the Blue Nose is the sailing once again. Sing sing along all. Nice. <laughs> We've got 190 people on, 40 awesome. thumbs up. Well, hey, if you're enjoying this content, we're actually asking uh, Q&A questions about our retail space. I will be unboxing these in just a moment to let you know what's inside of these. They do have to do with the retail store, but I do want to give you guys a heads up. We will still be doing all unboxings, and the online store will still be exactly the same, even though we're opening a retail space. Yep. But the only bonus is that you're probably going to end up seeing a lot more products on the online store just because yep. we're going to have the space. Yes, indeed. So, and a lot, uh, be on the lookout for our fire sales in May, I would say, um, because I think around May, we're going to start transitioning some of our new product that we're acquiring from uh, the liquidation station into some of our fire sales. And so you'll be able to see some new and interesting stuff that you haven't seen uh, before on our fire sales. And we may decide a few weeks in a row to do a couple of fire sales. Yep. We'll see what we have We'll time probably for. even do it April. Uh, yeah. Probably. Uh, well, just just stay tuned to the channel. We'll give absolutely. you updates at all time and let you know. Now, there is no fire sale this week. So on Thursday, we will not have a fire sale. We will do our best to put out a regular unboxing, though, so you still get hooked on picking content. Um, but we just wanted to get on, and I'm actually going down to the store today to get the new internet installed, and we just want to find each and every idea of if you've been into thrift stores or discount stores or whatever, what is the one thing that you appreciate about that space, like the good signage, the, the lighting, the height of the shelves like you guys have been talking about, and what is one thing that annoys the snot out of you about those places? Like, mm -hmm. what is one thing that they just do, do wrong and we want your advice on? Julie C. say customer service is a priority and greeting on entry is key. I, okay. I've always thought Robin does a great job of that already. Yeah. When you walk in, she's she's a, a friendly face, you yeah. know, saying hey. Um, and they are both, Jerry and Robin, are Super very friendly. gracious, very friendly. You feel like you could talk to them forever. Yep. You really do. So let's see. Amanda Teal says a tidy store is a must. It puts people off if the shelves are a random mixture of items. Okay. Uh, better to have designed areas for goods, candy, home goods, toys, etc. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a part of a problem with liquidation when you buy from liquidation. And we've seen it from multiple people that are thinking about doing what we're doing. But we it, it gets pretty sporadic. We could also um, do like a like a liquidation discount section where that one is a little bit always sporadic, but people yeah. know that based on the the name of that section of the. We store. could have a clearance section. We could have a clearance. A clearance section. of clearance, clearance. Clearance, clearance, clearance. We'll call it Clarence. All right, Sherry Finley says hello from uh, the capital of Pennsylvania, Harrisburg. Awesome. Uh, Lisa says good idea on the knives. Yeah. 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 I want that somewhere where somebody's not going to hurt themselves. Me, why, says an area when you first walk in, unique but less expensive stuff. Uh, seeing inexpensive uh, first thing will attract more uh, to walk farther into the store. I yeah. agree. I agree. Uh, Jacqueline B says you could have like a dollar section or like extra bargain section seem like you're getting an extra great deal. Almost like um, I'm thinking like the Walmart aisle that has all the clearance stuff. So the clearance section, Walmart does it where you have like, down that particular aisle, you have like $1, then they have $3, $5, $10, $20, and that's the clearance yeah. aisle. But like everything in that section is $1, everything in that section, like on that one aisle. So right. that's something that we could possibly do. That might be a way to do it. Yeah. Uh, Jacqueline B says you could do a sale of the week. Oh, we could. Yeah. I'd write that, that yeah. one down. That's a good one. Um, Lynn 90210. I love that. <laughs> Lynn 90210 says, exciting stage in your lives. It has been fun. Yeah. So it's been amazing. Like we have been praying and just like, Lord, show us any, you know, red flags or close the door if you don't want us to do this. And uh, we had a number in our head for how much we wanted to rent the space for. And was, That's what the number was. Yeah. Um, and then just the whole, just the, the whole process. The kids are excited. Yep. Um, uh, Faith wants to come in and um, organize every <laughs> everything. And she's our little entrepreneur <laughs> and she's our like tidy one. Yeah. So. Yeah. She's, um, she's going to do great. She'll probably yeah. take it over. She'll one probably day. take it over and Picky Pants start says, franchising it. <laughs> Picky Pants says, yes, hard ice cream uh, pulls in sports groups, families after practice, sporting events, etc. Instant word of mouth advertising. Yeah. That's not a bad idea because we're not too far from the city 
a park and they have a large city pool there too. Yep. Uh, lots of kids that go through there. If you guys remember uh, during the summer, we had those uh, mermaid tails and we sold a bunch of those mermaid tails down, down at there that store, because yeah. kids were buying them and then going to the pool. Yep. Uh, Amanda Teal says print leaflets with your online store plus YouTube, Facebook details to generate more sales. Okay. Put so them in your buyer's goods when they purchase. Yep. So paper handouts. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Donna Buckley says, thank you. I know uh, where New Baden is, not far from Belleville. I will definitely come to the store. Great. Awesome. Well, we're going to be there. Well, we so, take, take uh, what is it, April 1st. It'll be officially ours. But, but we're doing kind of a transition weekend on April 1st and the following weekend. is kind of a bit of a transition weekend. And then, and then um, so we'll be open Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Thursdays from 9 to 5. And then... Um, and Fridays the same time, and then Saturdays will be ten to three, and um, and so we'll really probably be a little bit more comfortable about halfway through April. Yeah. Um, but if you want to come and check out the store now, come. Like if you come this weekend, we won't have any of our signage. It'll stay it'll still say liquidation station. They're yep. kind of training us on point of sale and all of that, because yep. we just never have done that before. Yeah. But I know they'll do a great job at that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lou Soto says, hi, everyone. Tanya Ferguson says, well, Robin is height challenged, so the shelves aren't going to be too high. Laugh yes, out loud. yes. Robin is about the same <laughs> height as me, so she might actually be shorter than me. I don't know. I don't I know. It's a race. Yeah. It's a race. Kathy uh, says, hooked on Pickens Palace. Hooked on Pickens Palace. That's the name for you. <laughs> hooked on Pickens Palace. A palace. Um... Lynette and Riley says, uh, hang some of the home decor on walls so easily see and free up some shelves. Oh, that's a good yeah. idea. I even thought about, you know, we have those Minecraft rugs. I think they'll go really well yep. if people can see them, how big they are. Yeah, so if you can mount them somehow, like on a Susan wall. Susan Marshall says, hooked on pick an emporium. Emporium. We actually look at that. that We, we did. We looked at the word yeah. emporium. Uh, Michelle Estrella says, hey, hey, in a wave. Julie C. says, hooked on space for a name. Hooked on space for a name. So hooked on space would be the name. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hooked on space. Oh, okay. Got it. Uh, Lori says, are, <laughs> sorry. Lori says, are you going to do end caps? Yes. Yes. They do have some end caps yep. there. Yep. Uh, Tanya says, uh, uh, thing to think of uh, with ice cream, will you have a place to sit and eat? Uh, we'll, we'll use up merchandise space and you don't really have room outside for tables or benches and could increase mess in the store. That is true. You know, if you're going to have ice cream, yeah, where are you going to sit and eat? And we don't, I don't know if we want to give up that, that amount of room for right. that seating. Right. And she's right. They would have to get it and just walk out the store and go like, okay, go to your car, you know? Right. So, uh, almost at, like a drive up. Almost, but we don't have the ability to do a drive through where right. we're at. Ashley says, is your uh, POS going to be a, to have a scannable barcodes? It, yes. It has the capability. It has yes. the capability. We, do, we won't have that right now. Um, we'll have a complete touch screen right now where you just type in the numbers or we'll have pre-programmed in prices. Um, and so um, eventually we'll have to open these boxes. Yes. Too. Are we good? Do we have... I probably got a thousand questions here okay. uh let's see da, 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 da. mary pinkston says hooked on bargains hooked on bargains, hooked on bargains. sunshine badges more says things that are disorganized like random stuff not in any sense that would yeah. be a little frustrating that's the her. thing that should yeah ashley right, says question. uh what about calling it hooked on pickens gifts and more Ooh, that's a good that's idea that's not bad at all and donna buckley says come on in and get hooked on our merchandise a cute little sign Come on in and get hooked on our merchandise. I love that. We could put that like in one of the front windows, yeah. like down in the corner. We could be your retail dealers. <laughs> we'll get you hooked on our, our, our retail therapy. <laughs> retail therapy starts here. Yeah, they'll think we're a CBD shop. <laughs> Tanya Ferguson says, I really struggle with clothing in those type of spaces. Feels like it's always a mess and hard to find stuff. Yeah. yeah, we're not going to do as much clothing. We right. will have some, but we won't do a ton. Like, we'll probably do Halloween costumes around yeah. that time. And, That's a little easier And to things out. like that. Um, but we usually, just because of the sizing issues and having to carry yep. each and every one size, um, we probably won't get a lot of clothing. We'll probably do, like, handbags and shoes. 
things like yep. those. Janet Hook's shameless plug. You can order fudge this week if you send Heather an email. Yes. We because actually already have at, had like what four people send yeah, an email. So hey, uh, we, we like some of that fudge. We are not doing a fire sale, but if you'd like to special order a fudge, I need to know how many containers and what flavor, and then we will see how well we can accommodate. Um, that way, those of you who love the fudge can still get your fudge. So just yeah. send me an email, put it in an order, and we'll do we'll invoice you just like the fire sale. There you go, uh, Pat Williams. Hello, everyone from uh, Andalusia, Alabama. Here, nice. I probably butchered that that city name. Ashley says thanks, Janet. Uh, Luce, uh, Lucia says hooked on picking budget store. Ooh, not bad. Yeah. Hope Dealer three one six says hello from Colorado. My friends call me Hopey. Awesome. Well, hello, well if Hopi. you enjoy this content, you can also do a super chat. I'm drinking yeah, a Coke can. today. Like we, oh. <laughs> now we have major bills to pay. Mm -hmm. We got rent to pay. Yep. Ashley says, I think the $1, $3, and $5 signs uh, should hang from the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Donna Bar Bartolom Donna says, will you be changing the hours eventually to more of a full-time store? Um, we're definitely looking at evaluating that. It's probably going to be closer to the summer before we do any kind of major changes like that. Yep. Um, but we would love, love, love to be able to op be open more days because obviously that will make it more convenient um, for uh, people to just know, hey, yep. this is a full-time store. But um, we don't want to neglect the online, uh, you guys, as, as Hooked on Pickin' YouTube channel and also HookedOnPickin.com. And so that's the reason reason why we're still limiting it to the three days because we definitely don't want to un, uh, neglect you guys and being able to make sure that we continue the shipping and all of that stuff. We're definitely looking into hiring some employees for those excess tasks like the yep. shipping and things like that. Yes, indeed. Kaliki131 says James could do 3D printing to order. Yes. Roy Clayton says, uh, Hook, I'm picking for deals. Hook, I'm oh, picking for deals. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Sherry Finley says, uh, will it be pet friendly? Pet friendly, like can animals or dogs go in there? Um, I don't think any not. store in New Baden you can bring your dog in or your cat in. Uh, probably, Is that a thing? I didn't know that was a thing. Well, it's like I, there's signs everywhere in our towns. You're not allowed uh, to bring your dog in. Well, they're, they're I mean. Unless a service dog. Service a service dog is, is different. one thing. But like dogs and cats, I will not be able to breathe after you. That's leave. true. Bring it, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm severely allergies. allergic to pets, so yeah. probably not. <laughs> yeah, we're close to Scott Air Force Base, so like if you know somebody came in with a service dog, we're yeah. not going to have any issue with that. Oh, but yeah. yeah, Julie C, a better box drop in your area would be a good thing. A letter, excuse me, a letter box drop in your area would be a good thing. A letter box drop. Letter box drop for what? Yeah, help me with that. A letter like a, box drop in your. I'm thinking like suggestion box or just. Ooh, well, that could be good. You know, maybe. I don't know. Uh, grabs and deals says hi, Heather and Paul. Awesome. Linda S says uh, hooks line and merchandise. Hooks lines and merchandise. Nice, hmm. like hook line and sinker. Yeah, Allen Robinson says put the knife in a glass case with the jewelry. Yep. Yes, that's, that's the, the plan. plan. That's we the plan. will not sell any. Yeah, I'm not going to just sit so. knives out on the shelf. Yep. Actually, really, almost every knife shop you ever go to or gun They're shop you go case. to, everything's in a case for that purpose. Michelle Estrella says hooked on deals. Oh, that's a hooked good idea. Hooked on deals. Uh, Maria My uh, Byers says hi, y'all. Congrats on the new store. Uh, why not have a locally sourced section? Yeah. That's an idea. Yeah. Could have like a made in America. That might be a little easier. Well, um, she's saying locally sourced, like a uh, local, um, like we had our local artisan that we used to oh, sell. Oh, yeah. On. Okay. So like a someone who makes things locally, they could sell on this one end cap. Sure. Or like we've got. Um, we've got some local our, farmers that do honey. We well, and then we also have. The girl that she does, she makes leather earrings and made the ornaments for us that we sold um, on the fire sales, those wooden ornaments. So those are all local made yep. items. So yeah, we could have like local vendors, you know, utilize the space for, you know, a commission. That would be or awesome. Yeah. Uh, Chris Mars says, name suggestion, uh, uh, hooked on picking stuff. Hooked on picking stuff? Oh, that's a good idea. Not bad. Maria uh, Byer says, hooked on, hooked on picking brick and mortar. Hmm. Yeah, because we've always been online. Yeah. Carol Ricks hooked on picking uh, heaven or haven. Haven. Michelle Estrella, are you interested in crocheted items, okay. Heather? Crocheted keychains, wristlets, card holders, scrunchies, kids, purses, and more. 
Go ahead and send us pictures. Yes, yeah, so I can send some samples. Yeah. Yeah, you can even send us pictures too. Uh, grabs and deals says hooked on Pickens uh, shopping station and online store. Ooh, shopping. Kind of connected with the liquidation yeah. station. Yeah. Donna uh, Bar uh, Donna says I love those dresses you got a while back. It's been a while. Yeah. Carol S says H O P bargains. Just yeah. H dot zero dot P bargains. Yeah. Uh, Betty says Captain Hooks's treasure chest. <laughs> Arr, matey. Arr, matey. <laughs> That's cool. Actually, write that down. I I think we could do something with that. Alan Alan says been watching y'all when just in your in your warehouse. Awesome. Yeah. Roy Clayton says, uh, hook done deals. Hook done deals? Hook done deals? Just hook done deals. Okay. Natasha says, good morning from New Zealand. Amanda says, if you're selling shoes, you need to uh, need seating so people can try them on. Ooh, good call. Good call. Uh, Davina says, hi from the UK. Love your videos. Me Y says, I wouldn't have the word gifts in the name. Makes me think of a place like Hallmark Store and would pass if not looking for a gift. Okay. Interesting. Blanca says hi from California. Let's roll, Tina says, keep it simple. Yep. Julie C says the sign behind Heather would be a great in the store also. Yeah, we're planning yes. on ordering another one for that. All right, I wanna open oh, these boxes. Yeah, while you're doing that, uh, Teresa Snow donated uh, $20. Awesome, Got me a lot of so caffeine to keep up. Oh, yeah, yes. Absolutely. All right. So this is stuff that's for the store, um, and it's basically to run our sales counter. Um, and so um, it actually isn't going to cost us an extra fee. And so this is the most important thing, I feel like. I did open this and look at it a little bit, which is why... Uh, is it in that little box? No, this oh. is our card reader. Ooh. So it sits up like this. We're going to be one of those fancy people. And then it'll plug in. And really? then, so they can. That's where they just slide the credit they, it's card. It's a chip reader. Can, a chip yeah. reader. Yeah. So they probably it's, put it in here. Yep. Yeah. It's just a chip reader. And then, um, and then right here is the slide between Neat. that little white things. All right. And then our entire POS system is actually going to be on a tablet. Um, and so, um, let me see. I'm just going to look at it. I don't think there's any pertinent info on here um but it'll all hook together like with cords and such and then let me pull that up and then uh this is really cool so i was kind of playing around with it and looking okay what do i need all that kind of stuff and then i was just gonna hook it up today here's our receipt printer nice Getting fancy look at you heather I know. getting a receipt printer did you ever think we'd be doing this? All right, so this is, I don't think there's anything pertinent in here. Yeah, so this is what our kind of our um, online, that's probably gonna glare. Yeah, a little bit like there. That. there. That's kind of what our cash register is gonna look like. And you just click the button and then you press the price and um, be able to add it in and it just yeah. adds it all up and adds the tax and everything. So like, We've got this, and then you just pick the dollar amount that it is. So, like, say it's $1.99, it automatically mm -hmm. adds it in with the tax, and then your total, oops, and then your total, you know, and then, uh, you know, you just keep adding, you know, all this kind of applied yeah. discount, you know, we can put a discount in and all that stuff. So, it's fairly, going to be fairly user-friendly with that kind of stuff. So, we've got our receipt printer, and then, let me show you what's in the big box, which I think is really cool. When I got this in the mail, I was like, I'm official. This is my Look cash register. Look at that. She has her own cash so register. So how it's going to go is it does hook up to the receipt printer and the card reader and the P and the uh, tablet. Move all this out of the way here. So it basically is going to sit on the counter just like this. I'm facing it towards you guys so you can see. So we'll have our receipt printer. And then I do have a tablet stand that is coming. Um, and then our tablet will sit here. And then our our uh, card reader will go back here. So they can put the card reader in. And then you on this side will be the cashier. And you'll be able to touch all this. It'll print out a receipt. You can hand it. Or I can turn this around so that the receipt prints towards the customer too. And they can just take the receipt. And then the cash register is also hooked up to the point of sale system. So that it opens and closes whenever cash is exchanged. Awesome. So, yeah, so we're going to be like official. 
like have this her own little like official cash register. Amazing. So, how cool, huh? Very so cool. that's what was in the boxes. This is the most important thing. This actually, even if we had none of this other stuff, we could utilize this, hook it up to the tablet and do the card swipe. Um, and so all of that will be right through our website. Um, so we'll be able to track our uh, retail store purchases and our online store purchases. Um, and so that'll be really, really fun and make it user friendly for taxes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Concept. So anyway. So that's what was in the boxes. So I'm super excited about that. And we're going to have fun. So. Absolutely. Let's see. Uh, let me go all the way to the bottom here. Holy cow. There's a ton of questions. So, sure. uh, what brand is your point of sale system? Um, we're running it through Shopify. Yep. Uh, look at you looking all professional. I Tyler know, right? Ferguson says. <laughs> Picky Pants says, do you have a safe to keep money in? Um, yes, we will have a safe to keep money in. I think they have one. Do but... not rob us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, uh, most people pay, they say, in uh, checks or uh, card. card. Uh, yeah. Little cash is exchanged. Michelle says, oh, I'm so happy. I've been watching since you were unboxing outside on tables. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Uh, do you send to Serbia? <laughs> uh, you can go to hookedonpicking.com and yeah. if it gives you, um, uh, just put all the things in the cart and then if it gives you a shipping option, then yes. I do ship worldwide. Now, there are some countries that restrict any shipments coming from the United States. Um, that's uh, been put in there, but I don't restrict any off my store. And so it would be your, you know. Yeah. Uh, Grabs and Deals says, I am a safety and security professional. If you need any tips on preventing theft, how to... Prosecute and when not uh, to prosecute, you know. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, we actually already had a little bit of a tutorial on that. Yeah, we also so, uh, we also will have cameras in the store. As yeah, well. there's a surveillance system there too. Mm -hmm. uh, Heather Slummer says Hooks Family Finds. Yeah, Hooks Ooh. Family Finds. Uh, Golf Rain says, uh, How are you going to track your inventory? We have a system through yep. Shopify. That, yep. that does that. That's our online that will also connect to the store. Yep. Crystal uh, Crystal says, hello, Heather and Paul. How are you doing? Hooked on picking vintage and new station. For vintage a name. and new station. A faith daughter of the king. Heather's wearing a shirt that says daughter of the king. I do. Uh, congratulations. This is amazing. So extremely happy for you guys. Yeah. Uh, Grabs and Deal says, hooked on picking. I like uh, your hooks sign on the wall. You should use those hooks in your logo. We are. Uh, Laura says 85% of your business will usually be through credit card, but don't forget to keep a change bank on hand. We will definitely yes. do that. Yeah. Lori says thanks, Tanya. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, All right. I think we're caught up, Heather. Yeah, so we just kind of wanted to chat with you, get your guys' ideas. Obviously, with all these note cards sitting here, I have lots of ideas, and Thank so you. we're going to be putting together all of that. I'll be running down to the store today to get all the internet set up and to set this up and make sure it's all in good working condition since we're uh, basically starting Friday. The store will be open on Thursday, so they're keeping their same hours Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So if you want to come and visit, go for it. Um, come and buy all the stuff. Yep. That'd be great. You can be Heather's trial run. Yeah. And running yeah. the cash register. You can be the kind customer that comes in and is patient <laughs> while I'm trying to figure stuff out. <laughs> So it's thanks so good. much for joining us. Also, thank you so much for the super chat uh, that we got on today's uh, chat. And um, we're looking forward to seeing you guys. So if you're interested in where the store is, it is in New Baden, N-E-W-B-A-D-E-N. That is the town, Illinois. And it is 108 Hanover Street, 108 Hanover Street. I think I gave the wrong address in one of my other videos because that he has two locations. One is a big furniture place. So if you're looking for yep. used furniture at a discount price, you come there and literally like three blocks down the road, you can go get some furniture. He's too. got so, tons of awesome furniture. Too. Really awesome stuff. Like our, my desk that I use uh, in the current warehouse, all my chairs. Um, Almost all every the, bit of our shelving came from there. All of the, yeah, a lot of the shelving came from there. So, um, so yeah, if you're interested in any of that, I'll definitely point you his direction as well. So, um, but we are at 108 Hanover, Hanover, can't talk today, in New Baden, it's Illinois. It's between the fire department and the, and, car wash. and the car wash. Yep, on the north side of the road. 
So, yep. all right. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for all your suggestions. We're definitely going to put them. Um, we're going to put them in on a to-do list so that we implement a lot of these because a lot of them were ones that we were definitely thinking about, but you clarified them for us and what you like and don't like. So thanks so much. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins.